three weeks after the European election, the members of the EPP group gathered in Athens to discuss the challenges of the future and the priorities for the next parliamentary term. The opening session of the study days focused on the analysis of the election results and was attended by the Greek Prime Minister Kostas Karamanlis and the Speaker of the Greek Parliament Dimitris Sufus. EPP Group Chairman Joseph Dahl welcomed Karamanlis and thanked him for the hospitality. The outgoing head of the Greek delegation, Yanis Varvitsiotis, and his successor, Marietta Yanaku, welcomed the 264 MEPs of the EPP group. Kostas Karamanlis said that Europeans, with their vote, have trusted the EPP because it has adopted cautious and responsible stances to major issues, such as the financial crisis, illegal immigration and climate change. He also pointed out the important message which European citizens send by abstaining from the election. But European citizens also sent out another clear political message. 60% of European citizens or European voters uh, did not go to the ballot box. And this low turnout is a crucial factor in the European elections. It is our duty to assess this very seriously. Uh, it's very clear that the domestic political agenda has an impact on the European elections. But it is also linked to the fact that they want a Europe that is easier to understand. The chairman of the EPP group, Joseph Dahl, put the emphasis on the importance of building up solid and consistent alliances within the European Parliament in order to push for the adoption of the policies that will forge an even better union. These alliances are also important in order not to undermine the work of the European institutions and especially of the Commission. At the end of the at the end of the year, if we don't have a majority in Parliament, a solid, stable majority, then I can tell you the Commission will fall after the first year. Looking ahead to the work to be accomplished, Dahl spoke about the expectations of Europeans and the urgency with which the group has to act. The 7th of June victory that we enjoyed will only be useful to the people if we live up to the task and show what we can do in the European Parliament. The chairman of the EPP party, Wilfred Martins, also analysed the results of the election and analysed the reasons why José Manuel Barroso has to continue to lead the European Commission. I think that José Manuel Barroso, with the results we have now and the defeat of the left, symbolises our victory in the European elections. For this reason, the left is, is trying to undermine his re-election in order to try and score points against us. This is a very, very dangerous game. The Speaker of the Greek Parliament discussed ideas on reinforcing cooperation between the national parliaments and the European Parliament, while Mrs. Yanaku went through the list of subjects on which the group will have to deal with priority in order to start the new parliamentary term with the best omens.